this morning in delicious drinks. Well, today is a day worth celebrating because it's National White Wine Day. And we want to learn more about the different varietals of this vino. So here to share his knowledge with us is James Davids. He's the co-founder and winemaker of Rhode Island Winery Anchor and Hope. Good morning, James. Good morning. Happy White Wine Day. Happy White Wine Day to you. I'm sure you were ready to celebrate and we thank you for helping us celebrate as well. I have to tell you, traditionally, I'm a little bit more of a red wine drinker, even a rosé, but in the summertime and as I've gotten older, I've really grown to appreciate some white wine. So I'm going to have you take us through some of your varietals and explain the difference between them. Yeah, absolutely. So for this warm summer weather and um, you know lighter foods and stuff like that, we, we have white wines like Gruner Veltliner or Sauvignon Blanc. These are kind of light on the palate, nice and soft with a little acidity, kind of more tropical citrus flavors, even a bit of grassy green flavor. Um, it makes them ideal for you know oysters and shellfish, um, asparagus, or salads, kind of lighter fare, alfresco dining. When you want something with a little more body and a little more, I don't know, uh, weight to it, we go into Rieslings. So there's dry Riesling or Riesling fine hair, which just has a little bit of sugar in it. Uh, that's a wine that works so well with spicy foods like barbecue or fried chicken or something like that because that little bit of sugar kind of uh, beats the heat, so to speak. James, that's so um, interesting because I didn't realize that Riesling paired well with those. Riesling is a little bit of a sweeter wine, is that correct? Yeah, there's a lot of styles and it kind of spans the gamut from really dry, almost salty and minerally up to um, like really nectar, heavy sweetness wines. And something right in the middle is called a cabinet or a fine hair. Uh, and these wines are great with spice or with barbecue because you still have that acidity and it's just a little touch of sweetness so it kind of complements the heat from some of those foods very interesting and what and what other varietals do you have with you yeah, the last one we got on the table is chardonnay i mean a classic everybody knows chardonnay and i, I think that's a all-year drink certainly in the in the autumn and winter as we continue on the the warmth and and uh, body and kind of just flavor that smokiness from oak and all that Kind of complements the changing of the seasons. Uh, that's one where you know there's a lot of different foods you can pair with Chardonnay. The kind of the classic would be your baked brie and some apple slices or something like that. But you can go into pasta dishes, uh, you know, grilled chicken and some some cheesy Alfredo or something like that. It's a it's a you know, wonderful wine to throw with just about any. It sounds like Chardonnay is kind of the crowd pleaser. Oh, absolutely. It's, it's probably one of the most sold wines in the world, but definitely in the United States, for sure. And James, for those who are just getting into maybe wine in general or just white wines, what would you recommend maybe starting with as your white wine if you want to take part in White Wine Day? Yeah, I would say go out and find a wonderful bottle of Sauvignon Blanc because it's made in so many different wonderful styles around the world. You know, our favorite is from the Loire and from from Germany also, where, where where our wine is from, just the traditional European style. Uh, but you can find New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc all over the place that is a little more punchy and a little more citrusy. And even into California, where I'm from, where you have uh, richer and riper, kind of uh, much fruitier styles of Sauvignon Blanc. So it's, it's a great place to start because there's a little something for everybody there. Uh, even if you don't like the oak or the butter, uh, you know, or if you do, you'll find something good. There. And James, we should mention Anchor and Hope is a local company, but you work with vintners from all over the world. Yeah, absolutely. After traveling around and just learning as a kid up until up until recently, working with great winemakers and planting vineyards and, you know, just living the, the lifestyle of a, of a wine person. You know, when we settled here, it was a great opportunity to kind of collaborate with all these all these wonderful people and families and farms and bring a taste of that here to home to share with everyone here. Well, we thank you so much for sharing your knowledge with us today. Happy, happy National White Wine Day and cheers to you. Cheers.